Conor McGregor's pregnant fiancée, Dee Devlin, was seen in New York City days after a woman claimed the fighter assaulted her at the NBA Finals on June 10th. So before I tell you guys this new story about Conor McGregor and his fiance, I know that Jesse, you know, Jesse on fire, I know he's going to love this story because in the last video that he did, right, he was wondering, he's like, you know, when I first heard about the lady in the bathroom stall with Conor, how did she escape? She elbowed him and she escaped out of there, right? And he was wondering how it was possible, but he goes in his last video, he says, you know, once I saw her picture, it explained everything to me. And yeah, I know she was a big one, you know. And some of you got mad at me for saying that, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Some people like big, some people like small. I like all different kinds of women. I'm not prejudiced towards any style. So it's not a bad thing coming from me. But yeah, I thought it was funny. And I'm excited to see what Jesse says now when he hears this story. Because in the comments, all you guys are like, you know, why does his fiance stay with them? Obviously, he has a thing with women, you know, four allegations prior to this. He goes around with women. Why does she stay? Why does she put up with it? Well, first, I'm going to tell you why. But first, let me read you this story. And then let me tell you some things and things I found out about this. Conor McGregor's pregnant fiance, Dee Devlin, jets to his side in New York City after assault claim from women at NBA Finals. Conor McGregor's pregnant fiance, Dee Devlin, was seen in New York City days after a woman claimed the fighter assaulted her at the NBA Finals on June 10th. McGregor was seen kissing Devlin's bump outside the peninsula on 5th Avenue, where the UFC fighter has been staying before the couple took their three children upstairs for Father's Day's lunch. I wish I knew he was in New York City because that's only like 15 minutes from me. I would have visited him. I had a few things and questions for him. Seen for the first time since McGregor was accused of violently forcing himself onto a woman during a Miami Heat game, Devlin was sporting her new wedding ring and various other jewelry, of course, including a Cartier bracelet and a Patek Philippe watch. I'm going to tell you guys something here. Just listen. Her show of unity comes just months after the couple announced their engagement and days after saying they expected a fourth child. The pair, who met in Dublin in 2008 when McGregor was just 19, lived together with their children in Las Vegas. McGregor was spotted in the Big Apple last night signing autographs for the fans lined up outside his hotel on 5th Avenue. And here's a picture. Look, he's kissing her in the stomach. Yeah, he's kissing her good. Conor McGregor's fiancée, D. Devlin, pictured together, was seen in New York City days after a woman claimed the fighter assaulted her at the NBA Finals on June 10th. Conor McGregor laughs with his fiancée, D. Devlin. At the peninsula on 5th Avenue on Father's Day. Of course she's laughing and they're hugging. They're loving each other. Of course. Look, they're having a great time. All after this, things come out, right? McGregor is pictured with his three children and fiancé D. Devlin on Father's Day. Let's see if it has anything else. Pictures show McGregor, Devlin, and three children enjoying lunch together while the MMA fighter later had a message. McGregor had denied the recent allegations and police in Miami where the allegations took place have said they are investigating the claims. So I'm not going to read the rest of the story. It's all the same things we've been hearing. But you guys see the pictures of him bending down on his knees, kissing her stomach like nothing happened. She's smiling, have a good time after all these bad things came out, right? And you guys are all commenting. Why does she stay? Why doesn't she leave? Well, there's three reasons as to why she would stay. The first one is maybe she's stupid. Maybe she believes everything he says. He says he didn't do nothing. She believes it like an idiot, right? That's not, you know, realistic in my, in my brain. She can't be that dumb, right? Number two, maybe they have an open relationship. That's not my style. I'm not a cuck. You know, no one's ever touching my woman. You know, that's how I am, right? But maybe Connor is. Maybe he says, you know what, let me do what I want. You go do whatever you want with the other men. So that's possible. Some people, you know, and no, no offense to anybody who does this, some people, that's what they do. I've seen people have relationships for many years with this without a problem, right? But now last, the third reason, and the one that I think is the biggest one. When you're married to somebody, right? 
and you get a divorce, what happens unless you sign a prenup? You get half of what the other person is worth since you've been together, right? But that's only when you're married. Connor and his now fiance, they're not married and they've been together since he was 19. Connor McGregor is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. If she leaves now, right? What is she going to get besides child support? Nothing, unless he decides to give her a gift. So remember I was saying, look at the watch, look at all these things you're saying. I mean, look, if I'm her and Conor McGregor is worth hundreds of millions of dollars and she knows she's not going to get nothing right now if she walks, she got to wait till they get married. Yeah, I would be flying to Conor McGregor's side on Father's Day with the kids with a smile on my face, allowing him to kiss my stomach because I know... If I leave now, I'm not getting anything. And me, if I knew that I had a possibility of getting hundreds of million dollars from Conor McGregor, right? I'd get down on my knees and kiss his tummy too with a smile. So I understand all that. To me, that's the biggest reason as to why she stays. I don't think the other ones, I don't know if Conor is a cuck. I mean, maybe it's possible. But that's my only explanation for this. Because look, like I was saying. Four allegations he's had on sexual misconduct. We know most likely he's holding the girl's hand. He knows. We, he, we know he does shit with women, right? We see it all. He know. How does she accept it? That, to me, is the biggest reason. And another thing I see in the comments is people are like, you know why he went to the bathroom with the girl? They went to do white stuff. I don't believe it for a second. I'm going to tell you why. This isn't 1995, all right? Before I left Arizona, sometimes I get, you know, my friends would make me go to these clubs. I'm not into that stuff. But people nowadays, you know what they had in their hands when, when they're all sitting around in a circle, these idiots? They had this little stick that they stick into this thing and they stuff it up their nose fast. Nobody sees nothing and they pass it around. They do that now. It's not 1995 where they're going putting it on a mirror with the razor blade or dollars or doing dumb stuff like that in, in the 90s. They don't do that no more. They just do it right in front of everybody and nobody could see it. It's so quick. So you guys commenting, thinking that that's the reason why she went to the bathroom with him. I don't believe it. She was doing something with him. He knew it was going to happen. Whatever happened, we're going to find out. But either way, it doesn't look good on him. And, uh, you know, I've been noticing, you know, it's been happening. It's been building over the past few years. But now it's like Conor McGregor lost the respect of the people. And I think that's the biggest thing. Like I said, he's worth hundreds of million dollars, you know, and, you know, that means so much to him now. But what about the perception you have on the public? People used to love this guy. And now, not so much. He ruined the reputation he had. And people see these things and... To me, you know, when you lose the respect of people, that means everything. All the money in the world doesn't mean anything if you don't have people's respect.